Apple cider is also known as sweet cider or soft cider. It's darker and cloudier than conventional apple juice because tiny bits of apple are not filtered out. These flavorful fragments are what makes this fall beverage unique. When the apples on the trees are ripe, it's time to produce apple cider. They process the apples within days of the harvest to produce a beverage that tastes both fresh and sweet. It starts with the right mix of apples. Some varieties are sweet and others are tart. This mix of flavors will spice things up. The apples float to the surface of a water-filled pit and drift onto a conveyor that takes them into the cider mill. Inside the mill, the apples spill into a washing station. Water sprays the apples as they bounce across rolling brushes. Next, the apples take a trip up to a grinder. Inside, a steel arm pushes the apples against a grater. It shreds them, pits and all, into a pulp. This pulp is known as pomace. The pomace lands in a funnel. From here, a pump moves it through pipes across the plant where it arrives at a press. The apple pumice flows between two porous belts that wind around rollers. The rollers apply pressure to squeeze out the juice. The juice drips through holes in the belts. The process strains out most of the pulp, but some remains as the juice spills from the press into large catch pans. Then they pump this chunky apple liquid into a holding tank. From the tank, it flows through a revolving drum that filters out more pulp, pits, and apple stems. The fluid seeps through the perforations in the drum and flows into a large trough. After one more screening, only fine bits of apple and sediment remain. This gives it the desired cider consistency and flavor. The cider now flows into channels between hot steel plates. The heat destroys pathogens and bacteria that would convert the natural sugars to alcohol. This ensures that the cider is both safe to drink and non-alcoholic. It's now ready for bottling. A worker slides plastic jugs into position under nozzles. The nozzles descend and pump the boiling hot apple cider into the jugs. They're filled to the brim so air can't get inside. Air causes the cider to deteriorate. Next, the conveyor moves the jugs forward to a capping station. Plastic caps funnel toward the jugs as they approach. The caps land on the rims with perfect timing. Spinning wheels tighten the caps as the jugs ride by, hermetically sealing the hot apple cider, giving it a shelf life of approximately a year. The jugs then head into a tunnel where sprayers douse them with cold water. Next, machinery pulls the liner off of adhesive-backed labels. An electric eye detects the approaching jugs, cueing rollers to apply the labels. The filtered out pumice from earlier is cooked four to five hours. This caramelizes the sugars in the apples, turning the pumice into a highly concentrated spread known as apple butter. They bottle it while it's piping hot to preserve it. Although not technically butter, this fruit spread has a similar consistency. It takes a full day of processing to produce both apple butter and apple cider. It's time to raise a glass and enjoy the sweet bounty of the harvest.